Hey everyone, and welcome to another Workout Wednesday. Now, I know that I have promised you guys that I would make a how to use blocks video, and I fully intend to get that one done very, very soon. In fact, I was just speaking with our new videographer, that's right, my company Run Gum has just hired a new videographer, and I was speaking with him about how we were gonna shoot that one, and as we were discussing it, I got a major new development in the season. So, as you guys know, I've set some big, big goals for the 2019 race season, um, and my friends over at Under Armour heard about my goals and decided that they wanted to help, and this just arrived. That's right, I will be working with Under Armour for the next few months, and I will be wearing the new Hover Infinite in all my easy miles. Um, actually, let's get a close-up of these shoes real quick. These are so beautiful. Look at these. I mean, that is a sharp shoe. Um, great structure, great colors. But I'll be honest, I have never actually worn these shoes. Um, I think that uh, based on some recommendations from my friends, they are they are A+. Plus. Um, um, Jeff Coover, Will Lear, Aisha Pratt Lear, some very, very respected uh, athletes say this is a great shoe. And so I'm excited to try it out. But if I'm gonna be logging all of my miles over the next few months in these shoes, they need to perform. So here's what I think we should do for the workout Wednesday. Let's put these shoes to the test. It just so happens that I know of a treadmill that will go to four minute mile pace. I want, I don't even know if I can still run four minute mile pace. I wanna lace these bad boys up and I wanna put them through their paces. So, so I'm gonna start out about 10 minute mile pace, which I, I'm embarrassed to say is what I've been running some of my miles at. Believe it or not, when you start doing exclusively 100 meter training, you actually lose some of that slow twitch aerobic capacity. Um, so we'll start at 10 minute miles and I will try to work all the way down to four minute miles. And we'll stop at each minute per mile pace on the way down. Um, but to make this really interesting, um, I'm also gonna shoot it in high def slow-mo. So you'll get to see the difference in stride length, the difference in pace, as I work from 10 minute mile pace down to four minute mile pace. Again, ho hopefully I can still run four minute mile pace. So let's head over to the gym and uh, crank it. All right, so this here is a Woodway treadmill. And if you guys know Woodway, it is basically the Lamborghini of treadmills. These are 50, 60, $70,000 machines and you get what you pay for. These are incredible. I mean, honestly, the best treadmill that money can buy. And this one will go to four minute mile pace. So um, hopefully I don't have a video of me falling off the back end of it. I'm gonna lace up my new trainers and uh, I'm gonna put them through their paces. Again, starting at 10 minute per mile pace and working all the way down to four minute per mile pace by minute per mile increments. Let's go. a little better, a little smoother. Nine minutes per mile. Eight minute miles. Woo. Seven minute mile pace. Getting harder. Six minute pace. Ah! <laughs> All right, that's five minute miles. This is my 8K PR pace. I once held this for five straight miles. Oh, Jesus. All right, that's four minute pace. You know, this is slower than my mile personal best pace. And I won't fall off. Oh my gosh, how low will this thing go? All right. It'll go faster, but I'm scared to even try it. Four minute per mile pace. All right, we're back at Rungum HQ and we are editing this footage. How cool is this? You guys wanna see it in slow-mo? Let's put it in slow-mo.
felt good to turn the legs over again. Um, four minute mile pace on a treadmill, that was fun. Um, the shoes held up great. You know, they can handle everything from slow plotty miles at 10 minute per mile pace to uh, essentially what's sprinting for me these days. Um, and so thank you Under Armour for sending me these awesome uh, UA Hover Infinites. And if you guys liked those slow-mo shots, say hi to Ryan. What's up, Ryan? Hey. Ryan is Run Gum's new videographer, and he is going to help me make these workout Wednesdays way, way better. So do me a favor, tell me what you liked about this video, hit the thumbs up, uh, and subscribe because workout Wednesdays are about to get a heck of a lot better. Next Wednesday, I promise we will finally get to blocks. I'm still excited about my uh, breaking 11 project in 100 meters, and I need to learn how to use blocks. So we're going to learn together next Wednesday from the man himself, Coach Jimmy Radcliffe. See you guys then. Bye.